Oh, fine. Yeah. Hello, everyone. It's Corn. We live? Hello, yep. Dice. We're going to be cooking up some General Sal's chicken today, as well as some pork egg rolls. I think we got the dough right last time, so... We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> well, yeah. We'll find out. It'll probably be our usual disaster. We still didn't get to test it out as much due to incompetence. Not on our part for once. But hey, we'll figure this shit out. We'll figure it out, yeah. So, you want to introduce the ingredients? Let's go with the... The egg roll wrapping ingredients first. So... First up, we need flour. Where is the flour? There it is. A bit of flour. So, we got flour. We're gonna need cold water. I hope you have a sink. If not, you're fucked. We're gonna need egg. Grab the eggs out. Forgot about that. Hey, anime! First to show up. Yes, it's food day. Happy Valentine's! Happy Valentine's Day, all y'all. All y'all! For our Valentine's Day, we're making delicious food. Hey, Wolf! Thanks for coming in, mate. Yeah, we're making General Sal's chicken as well as pork egg rolls. Okay, so for the for the egg roll wrappers, we need flour, flour, water, eggs, salt, and you put a little cornstarch on the uh, working surface for when you need it. Ooh, that's running well. Oh, that's why I got the second two can. more. <laughs> yeah, we got more cans. Uh, don't need no fancy name brand shit. So let's start with um, let's start with preparing the dough after we wash our hands. Yep. Oh, good. You're cooking too. What you cooking? Anything interesting? Yeah, he's always posting uh, his cooking on Facebook, I think. Uh, actually, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my chest hurts. Slowly dying of a heart attack here. Uh, just make sure you finish your will first. I need a lawyer! Or at least a notary. My knife sharpener! Oh, you oh did you tell Sheree we're going live? Uh, I did tell her we're going live at 10. I gotta send her the link. I'd say she probably wants to catch up. Oh, he's making a chicken sandwich. <laughs> nice and simple, but very tasty. What, the, how are you making it? Are you prepping it, like frying it up? Frying up a slab of chicken? Make a fried chicken sandwich? What you doing, mate? Uh-oh. What? Is it the wrong one I got? I got the wrong one. What you looking for? I copied the wrong thing. Oh, smooth. I didn't send it, though. So. Alright, there so. we go. Stop. Alright. Let's start off with the flour. How much flour do we need? We need two cups of flour. Two cups. Where is our big cup? There right here. One cup. Yeah, so unlike that, we're flipping what we are doing last week. I made the side, he made the main, I'm going to be making the main this week. He's oh. going to make the side. That means he gets to play with his favorite food processor. Yeah! <laughs> it's a keto sandwich. Keto, that's kind of neato. It's one cup. Alright, let me get the salt. Alright, so you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt, two cups of flour, one large egg, and a fourth to a half a cup of water. Two cups of flour. It's a, it has no bread. How can it be a sandwich then? That's just chicken. Okay. 
Tell me at least you're lettuce wrapping it. No, no, he's got to do it the KFC way. He's got to wrap, uh, what is it? They, what did they, they wrapped bacon in chicken. The double down. That's what it was called. <laughs> the fucking double down. Because you're right. doubling down on a heart attack. And how much water do we need to start? Uh, one fourth to one half of a cup. Uh, one half wasn't, I mean, one fourth wasn't enough last time. But probably want to start slow. I love our new measuring cup. This thing's nice. You'll also need your little spatula. Or would you um, prefer a wooden spoon? I don't think this thing got washed properly. Give that a quick rinse then. Oh, I should also... You know what? No, I'm not going to get the rice started yet. A uh, butterfly... Oh, okay. He's going to butterfly the breast, then the toppings will be sandwiched with it. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So you're, you're basically making a grilled double down sandwich. <laughs> hey, I like it, man. Sounds tasty. I'm a, out of my out of my fucking eye. That's the whole point of a hat. <laughs> ah, these old BDUs. They're worn, but they're good. But then there's one thing that will last you in the army. It's old clothes. All right. So it's cold water. As I say, worst case, uh... And start with a quarter cup? Yeah, start with a quarter cup. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. You forgot the egg. I forgot the egg. Oh no! Put your egg in now! One egg? One egg. Then add the water. Yep, then add your one fourth cup of water and start mixing. Um, and you add probably up to a, another quarter cup, maybe a little bit more if you're not sure if it's gonna mix. But yeah, so this is gonna take a little bit because, well, it's dough. Yeah, we're gonna need more water than that. One of these days, we should also learn how to make bread. I think making bread would be fun from scratch. Then we could make some hamburgers to go in said bread. Or a steak sandwich. No way, we don't cook well done around here. That's the only way you could salvage a well done steak is to make Maybe it into a sandwich. sandwich. I've done it. It's also the only know. time you're allowed to put ketchup on steak. But that's pushing it. To be fair, it's already ruined. What's ketchup on a well done sandwich? Who puts ketchup on a sandwich in the first place? Depends. Wait, on a steak or on a sandwich? In general. I mean, I put it on a chicken sandwich, but I use sriracha ketchup. <sighs> I'm sorry. I like, I like spicy ketchup. Sorry, I don't hear you complaining when I make it into barbecue sauce. Yes, barbecue sauce is delicious. Okay, so am I allowed to put ketchup on it then? <laughs> if you make it into a barbecue sauce, yes. <laughs> oh, I love, I love making those barbecue sauces. You still need more water. Well, that reminds me, I gotta send out another link. Twitter! I'm gonna drop one of these on Twitter. It's supposed to be a sticky dough, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be a sticky dough. Do 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 Dark do. Become a dough. Yeah, it takes a little bit. Still need more water. Yeah, don't go overboard though. It's easy to overdo water. I know. 
Is there anything I say about us? He says it's a crime against state. Say no to well done. It's a crime against state. He knows it. what's right. Okay, it's at that point where it's probably going to be easy. Where's the chicken? Right here's the chicken. We're starting with the egg... Uh, we're starting with the egg roll dough because it has to rest for 30 minutes uh, before we can use it. Yeah, so oh. we're going to start with the prep work on the dough. Then I'm going to make the sauce for the chicken. While this thing rests. And I think that looks about right. I just need to start. Take, basically digging in there. Yeah, I'm done with this. Food. It's not doing what I need it to do. Yeah, it was just a, it's just a starter. Oh, here she comes. That's all going to be stuck in my head forever. Careful. Careful. No, no, it doesn't have the background track. So we'll be fine. Last I checked, the AI bots haven't gotten that effective. Ooh, maybe just a touch more water. Don't overdo it, though. Well, I made that mistake last time. I had to add more flour, and I'm pretty sure that messed up the ratio just a little bit. We got a lot of flour left in there, son? I mean, look at it. And this feels about the right consistency. There's still that much left. We could just forget that flour. If we've got the dough right, then maybe we'll just move on to this kneading Well, stage. it's also not very sticky. But it's supposed to be kind of sticky. Yeah. So, just a t few drops more water? Just a little bit, sure. Just don't know. No, not much. Slow. Push more. Part of it is also I want to get. The, I also want to try to get as much of this flour into it as possible. What? No, why the, the why would the chicken be done? We just started the stream. We didn't even start it. It's like. Not even a minute ago. Yeah, we just started like 12 minutes ago. Yeah. It's like chicken cook. alone takes longer to cook than that. We don't start with pre-cooked chicken. What kind of heathens do you think we are? We show. We have to show you the whole process, man. Yeah, yeah. We're just over, so perfect. <laughs> Oh, Rad's in my own slot legion chat just said it's Valentine's Day. People are either fucking or crying in bed. <laughs> you know, or both. Or both. Well, Rad's, you're gonna get some chicken once we get this dough done for the egg rolls. Because you're gonna get chicken and egg rolls. Yeah, that's looking about what it's supposed to look like in the pigs. And it's sticky. Alright. All right, then, yeah. We're not being horribly overly so. I think we're done with this, so now... Let me grab these chunks of garlic. I actually like doing that. That's actually kind of fun. Okay, so <laughs> now you need to knead it on the... Yeah, let me add a little cornstarch. Just so you guys can see, because I find it kind of fun, I'm going to come over here real quick. So, the dough is quite sticky. Overhand, and it takes a second for it to fall. All right. Now knead it for about five minutes. I'll set a timer. All right. Uh, that should be spread out more. Timer, fuck. We need to spread that out more. We don't want it taking up the corn starch. We just want the corn starch to layer to. Yeah. All right. Uh, tell me when you're ready to start. Start. All right. Five minutes. Let's start that kneading. While he does that. Out of the way, microphone. Now I just need to get the dough off of the bowl. Besides, Red, 
You're telling me that egg rolls don't interest you? Especially pork egg rolls? To be fair, you can mix up the filling, so like filling however you like. We just, we just wanted to, we didn't want to make chicken egg rolls and chicken uh, as the main. We want a bit of variety in our meal. Uh, That's why we keep dish towels. What's up? Well, you should be listening to us talking. I have music in the background. What you say? Well, if you aren't good, if you aren't, if we're not good enough for you to listen to us the first time, why would we say it again? Mm, what you say? Not your only man. I fucking love that video. <laughs> Here, I'll go get the shotgun. We'll reenact it. Oh God. <laughs> uh, buckshot of defenders. No, no, dragon's breath. <laughs> Talk about a fuck you. I'm willing to burn my house down to kill you. <laughs> what sort of madman would use dragon's breath for home defense? Us. This guy. That's why we got house insurance. Oh. Needs a little layer of <laughs> Wolf has shot, uh... You need to be rolling it, kneading it. I know, I'm trying to. Besides, I think it doesn't, I think it doesn't matter if it absorbs the cornstarch a little bit. I'm not overly worried about that, it's more just everything it was just completely sticking to the... Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Yeah, once that's done, we'll let it rest for about 30 minutes. Uh, Where'd half our viewers go? Do I need to bully it, people? Yes. I know I got shot quite a few times yesterday. What's Corey. <laughs> Good. Every time Corey was imposter, he made a point of killing me. To be fair, normally you pick me off pretty early too. Actually, no. Most of the time, it's only when you're a target of opportunity. That or I try to make you look sus. <laughs> <laughs> And really, I only actually targeted you like once or twice. I targeted you that one time because you kept telling me to kill D. So I killed you instead. <laughs> D's logic just annoyed me. I guess it was pretty grating on you. Okay, we'll have them nice and pinned. Okay. We've got 20 seconds left. So once it's nice and smooth and elastic... Is it nice and smooth and elastic? Oh, yeah. Alright, then now we just set another timer and let it rest for 30 minutes. So once you... It's approximate five minutes. So once you've got it nice and smooth, elastic, doughy, you let it rest for about 30 minutes. Move this out of my way so I can wash my hands off. Don't yeah. want salmonella or E. coli. Okay. Oh, that feels so weird washing that off. Yeah, I know. That's how I felt yesterday when I was making the test batch. Like, that just feels really weird. Like, like, I had no problem with the, with it, with kneading it itself, but washing it off. Yeah, it's like, ooh. Ugh. Because it just slowly gets meltier and meltier. If we want... Oh, no, he's found the cockatoos again. 
He found the bird! He's oh, giving us the bird. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so now, we start with the solemn. Okay, we got the bowl. Okay, so the proportions are for one pound of chicken, but I'm going to upscale them because I'm making three pounds of chicken. So first up, for the sauce, we need to get rice vinegar. Where's my rice? Alright, so we're going to start off with some rice vinegar. We're going to, for every pound of chicken, you need three tablespoons of rice vinegar. So, for this, we're going to use nine tablespoons. Sounds like a lot, but... <laughs> it is what it is. One. Two. Three. Four. So, next is I'm getting the... Five. Ginger. No, 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 no. Oh, for the sauce. Okay. Six. So, seven. Eight. A little less. Nine. So, next ingredient, naturally, in an Asian dish, is the soy sauce. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that's three tablespoons naturally, right? Yeah, three tablespoons, so that'd be, you're filling it up by three. So it'd be nine. nine tablespoons for this much chicken. Nothing compared to, nothing compared to the amount when we make the, uh, when I make my uh, teriyaki. Two. Where you use several cups of soy sauce. Either way, we use a lot of soy sauce in this household. I mean, to be fair, Four. I've seen... I've seen Cora drink soy sauce. Out of desperation. Five. It's like alcohol, it satisfies in the moment. Seven. Eight. Fine, go away. Nobody likes you anyway. Rads. He said he's going back to gaming. No! So, next. Rads! Come on, Rads. No one hates you. You chill, dude. We're just fucking with you. Just kidding. Next will be hosen sauce. Six tablespoons? With a scale, with a scale of recipe? Six tablespoons? Yes, yeah, six tablespoons of hoisin sauce. After that, will be three quarters cup of water scaled up. I'll get that measured. Is it hot or cold water? Cold. Wait, wait, wait. Where is he? Tablespoons or teaspoons? That's teaspoons. Teaspoons. Ah, I misread it. How many teaspoons go into a tablespoon? Let me look at the conversion. I'm just going to fill it up. It looks like two, but... You need two tablespoons. That's six teaspoons. It's two tablespoons. What's up? Six teaspoons is two tablespoons. Okay. What was it? Oh, that's good. Three quarters cup of water. Alright, so for the original part, you would do... Uh, one, what is it, one-fourth cup of water? Yep. One so, fourth. we're upscaling it to three-fourths cup of water. We're actually working on, on part of the chicken right now, right? So this is the sauce for it. Yeah, we're making the sauce for the chicken. Mmm, delicious smelling. And now... You mind cleaning this? Sugar. You mind clean this off real quick so I can get the sugar and the flour in there. Flour? You mean corn starch? Corn starch, yeah. Stop confusing the viewer.
yelling at Doc to get in here. Okay, you got that clean? Yep, nice and clean. All right, so we're going to need nine tablespoons of sugar. Three for the original recipe, so we're scaling it up to nine. All right, where's my sh Oh, there's my, hand me my sugar, please. Sugar, sugar. Don't mind, Cory, he's just trying to get the MCH right. The Archies will be stuck in my head forever. I don't know, I, I, I feel like the Archies might just be out of copyright. Who knows? Alright, so what did I say? Nine? Uh, yeah, Not nine, nine tea tablespoons? Nine tablespoons. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, Now, the last ingredient for the sauce is cornstarch, correct? Yep, one tablespoon cornstarch is the normal recipe. So we're going to need three tablespoons of cornstarch. Which is why we have the, the new container. Let's be honest, Asian dishes use a lot of cornstarch. Plus, cornstarch is great for making dough to put mm -hmm. on the cutting board. Yep. Okay, so now we've got our cornstarch. And this whole process only took about nine minutes. Two. Three. Whisker up. Where is that whisker? On a cat. Maybe a dog. We don't have brandy here. There you go. Whisk for convenience. You want to whisk her up? Alrighty. So Ice is going to whisk up all the sauce till it's nice and blended. Now, now then, after he gets that whisked up. Message Rad, tell him to come back. It's time to slice up some chicken. I think he's talking about wanting to see it at the end. I'll message him. Sure, if you want, just tell him we're about to slice the chicken. Yeah, so it looks kind of like a dark brown sauce, but it'll get a bit of a reddish hue once we, uh, once it thickens with heat. Because it's really liquidy now, but once we throw it on the heat at the cooking stage, it'll get nice and thickened. Twenty minutes on the dough. Probably not the safest thing I just did there, but oh well. What did you do? I was drinking the soda with the with the knife hand. <laughs> it's okay, I'm having a knife time right now. And that blended just fine. Alright, move the bowl, let's cut up this chicken! We are not going to the pork yet. Unfortunately, birds were harmed in the making of this video. Yeah, they were murdered in the last video too. Breast you're seeing this Valentine's Day. Oh. It's okay if it makes you feel any better. It's probably the same for me. Unless something happens to change last minute. So I'm just throwing 
chicken over here in a pile. Now we just start cutting it into little inch strips. God, that is so beautiful. And this is why you keep your knives <laughs> nice and sharp. What's up? Brad said he'll open Twitch on his phone. He'll open Twitch on his phone. Fine by me. We don't care how you watch as long as you watch. We just want you hanging out. Get everything nicely sliced. Yeah, that's beautiful. Just right through it. Oh, yeah. So, sharp knives are incredibly important in the kitchen. Um, a sharp knife's a safe knife. Yeah. The sharper your knife, the less likely you are to actually cut yourself. Mm-hmm. Because your knife is much less likely to slip. So that's basic kitchen safety 101. Yeah, so investing in a, a knife sharpener is always a wise decision. Plap. That probably isn't the only plap sound you singles are going to hear this Valentine's. No, that also, that also includes couples. They're going to hear sounds like that, too. It depends on the long distance. That's yeah, true. true, true. <laughs> Well, even if they're long distance, they're going to be hearing that sound. <laughs> Either way, it ain't with, it ain't in person. Computers don't go well in the kitchen. Speak for yourself. It's like, we've got a computer. How do you think you're watching ice right now? <laughs> Just starting a meat mountain right here. Yeah, just make sure you use it when your knives start to get dull. So we tend to we tend to probably over sharpen. We do it every couple of cooking sessions. But actually, I know a chef I used to watch on Twitch by the name of Lethal Frag. Uh, he would basically at the start of every kitchen session, he would get his uh his steel out and sharpen. Basically, he'd get a steel and knife out and would sharpen his knives every time at the beginning of a of the string. To be fair, it is actually safer, safe, safer and does speed things up because then you're not struggling to slice through the item. Plus, he's using a professional. As I said, he was a professional chef and he used a proper steel, which we don't use one of those around here because yeah, we where are those? We cheat. We bought one of these. Got a couple pieces, a couple sharpeners on it. That's what we needed to do. I think I just touched. Uh, What's up? Oh, he made an induendo. <laughs> Get his steel out. Keep it up, and I'll use my steel type on you. It'll be a hard time. All right, time to check King Shem Court. Jokes on you! That is my king. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one solution for that king. Death. Brutal, brutal death. I don't know, it might be a hard time the whole way. But yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of chicken though, we found, we got some really hella deals at Myers today. Oh. Like, they were selling chicken for like 99 cents a pound for thighs. Uh, mm -hmm. Breast with ribs and uh, drumsticks, and for a buck forty-nine, boneless chicken breast. Those are uh, skizzers. Scissors are in that drawer, top this drawer. Top drawer. There they are. Just preparing something we bought for convenience. Well, we wouldn't need it if if someone had properly loaded the dishwasher. 
Because then I'd have my slotted spoon, which is my preferred choice. But oh well. Well, my whole thing is with it is we're gonna be dipping um we're gonna be deep frying things. Yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, so I've got the chicken all diced up. Um, you mind separating it into three equal sized piles? Sure, I'll get that. I often try to keep one hand clean when I uh, deal with raw meat. So I like to keep my knife hand clean. Alright, we got 13 minutes left on that dough. Who's messaging in my chat? Okay. That looked about right to me. Okay, so we got sauce, we got meat. Now, you get yourself a handy dandy bowl and we're gonna need one fourth of a cup of cornstarch. So, take the bowl, drop in a pile of chicken for me please. First pile of chicken. Okay, there's a little less chicken than last time, so. In one fourth. The hell's my half cup measure? I swear to God, this is why I hate asking them to do things, because they always put it back in weird ass locations. Oh, wait. I think I may have uh, forgot. May have played the dishwasher by mistake. Get it out. My hands are covered in chicken dish. How about I stick you with a knife? Yeah, that's right. My bad, my bad. This one wasn't even used for anything but water! Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know, it was in the sink. Either way, it needs to get washed because it was in the sink. Yeah, well. Which means it came into contact with dirty dishes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I think they, they sliced some of our sponges with the knife for some reason. <sighs> and y'all see why I do it? Well, me and him tend to do the cleaning as well, because... Oh well. It's a sponge. I don't care too much about sponges. Yeah, but inattentiveness in one area implies inattentiveness in others. Yeah. If you if you go lax on one thing, that's. N hey, Doc, what are we cooking ice for Valentine's Day? Well, we're making General Sal's chicken and pork egg rolls. And if we're lucky, we'll be cooking his girlfriend too. She's going straight in the oven with an onion. You all decide where. I say the mouth. Finally, shut her up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> you whore. Don't and don't mind, don't mind Cor while, while he makes a mess and doesn't do it over the camera for some reason. To be fair, it doesn't matter. It's cornstarch. Yeah, but you gotta show what's going on. There's a cooking, there's a cooking street. I'm not dumping anything yet. Yeah, yeah I'm bringing it over. Bring me the cornstarch, please. Well, no, I was going to uh, shake it in front of that camera. I can't touch with I can't touch with the palms of my hands. So. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> All right, so about about one fourth of a cup of uh, cornstarch. Basically, about one fourth of a cup of cornstarch for every pound of chicken you're making. Now we got it in the bowl. Put the lid on this bitch, and then shake the shit out of it to evenly coat everything. Make a fun, make a fun pack of chicken maracas. If I roll a nat 20, can we get him to do the Cuban Pete? I'll allow it if you roll a 40. <laughs> so 2020? So the worst year in human history? In the recent human history? Alright, so now we've got the chicken nice and thoroughly coated.
Frosty ready to shake out puns to make you quake in laughter. Quake and bake, baby. Who needs shake and bake? We got quake and bake. I'm just going to put the already dusted chicken on a plate. And this is just going to be our chicken pile. Ready to throw in another batch? Another batch of chicken. So this is a little less than last time because, well, we had, uh, what's it called? This one's a little less than three pounds, so there's a little less chicken. I could probably get away with a little less cornstarch. Definitely making less than last week, but last week I was also bringing some for a D&D session. So I promised to bring food. Out of curiosity, of those of you watching, do you is this is this seg segment uh, enjoyable? And is it also helpful? Yeah. Are you guys learning anything? Are you guys? <laughs> I'm hogging the spotlight with chicken shaking. <laughs> Should be good though. Is there anything you want else you want us to what want to see us doing for this? Pretty much. We are very much open for... Ah, yeah, I lost a piece. Why are you losing the chicken? It rolled off the plate. Ugh. Oh well, toss in the last batch. Last batch. I mean, if you have anything you want to say, advice, ideas, feel free to let... And put a message in the chat, or if you don't want to say it in front of everyone, direct message either of us. We're happy to hear um, what you guys have to say. Not yet. Not yet. But that's probably going to be one of the things in the future, though. I was thinking about it, but... Speaking of, you should probably get the rice going. Oh, that's a good point, because we didn't really start the rice. Terrible of us. Well, no, we were waiting because we had a lot of prep work to do. Alright, can you move these so I can wash my hands? <laughs> no. Uh, I will make the pumpkin pie when, um... Uh, There's actually pumpkin to make the pie? And that's going to be an intense... That's going to be a long stream, too, because... Making the pumpkin pie requires me actually baking a whole pumpkin, carving it, gutting it, taking all of it out, uh, blending it with a bunch of ingredients. Probably the Sunday before or after. Halloween would probably be the best time to do it. Actually, uh, let me check some. Unless it falls on a Sunday, would you? Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's Halloween this year, because I remember it was Saturday last year. So yeah, that'll be the Halloween. That'll be the holiday Halloween stream. Perfect. Valentine's Day falls on cooking with core. Uh, Val Halloween falls on cooking with the core. Sadly, Christmas won't. But like, I give a shit. All right. So we've got our chicken. I'm not going to bother dumping this one onto the plate. No need to lose any more chicken. But by that point, we'll be more established and have a better idea of how we're gonna go about this stream. Uh, this is what? This is what, episode three? Alright, so Ice is gonna make sure y'all know how to use a rice cooker. We went over this last time, but it doesn't hurt to go over it again. You're always putting stuff in my way. <laughs> You're always going right to where I put things. Yeah, right in front of the sink where I need the water. You're about to have a knife, Tom. Please, go for the throw. <laughs> By the way, I don't have to go into work again. Yeah, yeah, well, all right. Well, we both know the day shift guy's not going to stay. <laughs> I'm not even asking him. Oh, there's our rice. He's hiding. Well, we are a third one, Carlo. How many cups of rice should we make? Make three again. Three? Yeah, three cups of rice is what we'll make today. So, 
nice and simply. Okay, my hands are too big to do that. <laughs> oh you yeah, have no, big no, hands no. like I do. Don't stick your hand in the bag, like a moron. No, what you want to do is dump it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just put it down on there. Do it in front of the camera. Can I be seen on camera? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, want me to? So what you do? Take a rice. If you have a rice cooker, take a rice cup. Okay, water is after we put in the rice, right? For the correct amount of water, it's after we put in the rice. Hmm? For the correct amount of water, it's after we put in the rice, or do we put in the yeah, water? Yeah, we put the put in the rice first. I've only used this thing probably about four or five times. That makes a satisfying sound. Oh, pouring rice. Oh, uh, the knife. Yeah. So you just fill up the rice cup three times. Who's posting my media chat? Oh, it's, it's frosty. Three cups of rice. Uh, you'll probably want to add a little bit more than three cups of water in there. Kind of, they get overfilled just a little bit. And then, then, on the inside of this, there's lines right here. I don't know if you can see them. You can't see them because they're too faint in the metal. But there are lines on the side that say cup. So basically, however many rice cups you add, you add the equivalent amount of water. Sometimes you can get away with a little extra because it'll just make it more steamed rather than dried out. It'll be a little sticky. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Go a little over. All right. And after this, simply you got the water up to the level, and you just walk over and put it in the rice cooker. Yeah, that one's real simple. As I said, best $30 I spent. I recommend you invest in a rice cooker. And then just close it up. See, so it makes perfect rice every time, oh. no hassle. And how come you have it plugged in? Who unplugged my rice cooker? I don't know. No, you well, you turned it back up because it turned on when you oh. plugged it in. And you just tap it once. Okay. And then it cooked. All right, so now we've got that. Uh, the dough has got about a minute left on it. So, back to the spotlight you go, Mr. Dove. Change out credit, credit boards. I'm going to clean this one up so I can uh, use it again. Alright, what's the next step for the dough? This cutting board is high in starch. Oh my god, it's become a potato! And there we go! Doesn't really matter. Um, oh, yeah. One in plastic. Uh, so it holds its shape while you're not, and holds its moisture levels while you're not using it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So roll it up into a ball. To be fair, it doesn't matter. We should make it in time, but I do want to cut it in half. Yeah. Roll this thing up a little better. Roll it into a ball. It's sticky while not being very overly so. Then nice and simply. Place it down, up, and cut that bitch in half. It's a croissant. You roll it up into a ball. I'm gonna just. What's that? That's a ice cooker.
All right, after it's made into a ball, what do we do next? Oh, I think that's water popping on the outside. So once you got it, now you just flatten it out. Lightly flour the surface, and sl then roll it nice and thin. All right. We'll want to cut squares measuring about three and a half inches. And good thing about our nice little um, uh, blade we use there, it has lengths of measurement on it. Put a little bit of cornstarch down. Put a little bit of... Oh, it's going to flame back the sound. Do what I like to do and spread that out. And then place you down. Start flattening it out. How thick, the, how thick should it be at the end? Uh, thin. Thin? Thin. Roll it out thinly. As thick, pretty much as thin as the gyoza should have been. Actually, one thing I forgot, you're all supposed to do this. In a lot of cases. Yeah, that probably would have helped for the test batch if I had known that, because it kept trying to stick to the pin. Yeah, I forgot about it until just now. So a nice layer of cornstarch over that, and boom. Still gonna stick a little, but not quite as bad as it was. It's floppy. Yeah, so once you get a little to the top and bottom, now stretch out to the sides. I, I really enjoyed the texture of that. Hmm? I enjoyed the texture of that dough. <laughs> Again, like we've said before, we are far from pros. We're just too Probably shouldn't doing... keep picking up. I was just trying to adjust it so it was more centered. Ah. If I do this, it also centers it, so. Just like that viral video, squish that dough. Because we don't have a cat. Technically, I do, but he's not here. That little fucker's 21 years old, though. How's that look to you? Little thinner. Little thinner? Because it's going to stretch back into itself. Ah. It caught on itself. Keeps catching. You need to uh, starch it up more? Yeah, on this thing. Whoopsie! Thankfully. Yeah. The dough is working a lot better than yesterday because we let it rest for too long. Yeah. Because we had a stream to do. Yeah. But now we've got the wrappers coming along. I think that looks about right to me. I'll tell that a little bit. There. All right. Now we just light sit using that and... Um, was it um three and a half inch measurements? Three and a half inch. Yep. So here's what I'm gonna do. Give me uh, give me a fork or anything. It's like a market. You say a fork? Yeah. So I'm gonna take this here. So there's measurements on the blade. You won't be able to see them because they're really faint. Pretty much we can barely see them. Yeah, even I'm struggling, so I'm gonna lay that down a bit. Let's see. That's three and a half right there. Hook it with the fork, and I have a measurement. Okay. Three and a half right here, fork. And since we're cutting there all anyway, it doesn't really matter if you do something like that. And so on the picture, they have it done as a square. I didn't quite roll out as squarish. We're not. At the same time, we're just not that. Um, <laughs> we don't bake much. No, neither of us are bakers. But. If we need to, we can re-roll what we what we fit what we don't cut right. I 
A couple of these will make very good squares. Others will not. And they'll be rolled back into dough. And then we'll just recut them once we have them rolled back down. Like these ones. Do what I want. There we go. So it looks like we got about about four out of it. Yeah, I see these. Then the rest will get rolled back out. Uh, let's see, do you three and a half inches? Anybody else say this one's good? You know, the nice thing about them getting coated in cornstarch means they won't stick together a lot. Which is both a blessing and a curse. Because right now trying to re-put these together. I feel like these are smaller, but meh. I did my best. We'll stretch them out. Yeah. Roll this one out. It's gonna be real fun when we try to make like pizza on the stream. <laughs> Remember that. We don't pretend to be anything other than amateurs. We just enjoy doing this. We've got four egg roll wrappers so far. Okay, now that looks about, okay, these are just, these are closer to traditional egg roll sizes. Okay, so smaller. Yeah, because American egg rolls tend to be a bit more chunky. Here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to cut off these edges first. Hey, you want a clean knife? Another good one. Here's how they're looking so far.
So after this, once we finish with the dough, we're going to destroy some um, pork chops. Well, I guess these are pork loin bits. Probably get one more out of the out of this one. You want to just combine it with this? Yeah. So that one, mate. We're at six now. We probably should be able to get at least the twelve. Maybe 12, a little yeah, more. Yeah. Maybe thirteen. Yeah. Maybe thirteen. I said, if you said you could make one more out of that little one, that would put it seven. Oh, yeah, so probably close to 14. You should be able to get close to 12 to 14 wrappers out of these measurements. Maybe more if you're more skilled than we are. Which isn't saying much. <laughs> <laughs> we just like to cook. How long have we been streaming anyway? One oh, hour. Over an hour. Nice. Yep, we hit an hour. Said, that's the thing with a lot of these dishes. There's a bit of prep time with them. A bit? We haven't even started heating anything up yet. Yeah, that's not true. The <laughs> rice is heating up. <laughs> I don't count the rice because we literally just stick it in a cooker. <laughs> it does everything. We're not really cooking the rice. You could say the same thing with a cast iron Dutch oven. No, because we actually do serious prep work for that. All we do with the rice is literally add, add water. Oh, some moron forgot to do this again. So all you do? I honestly, up until today, until I was rolling it, forgot about this trick. To be fair, we don't really do this much. We don't bake. We're not bakers. I used to know more when I was way younger. Because I've got some pretty good bakers in my uh, family. I am not one of them. I will not pretend to be one of them. I could probably make a better baker than him, but that's because I tend to be very good at following recipes and going off measurements. I get impatient. I'm very freeform with the way I cook. <laughs> Some guy wanted to know my secrets, but I told him, Donut ask. <laughs> we should make donuts. Oh, dude, maybe we should make traditional Asian style. You know, the ones you get at uh, buffets and shit? The sugary donuts? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Maybe oh. we should... Honestly, maybe we should try do a non Asian dish for once. Nah, that's crazy, <laughs> dog. We've still got at least sweet sour chicken, fried rice, and lo mein noodles to make. We gotta think of something else. Something Until else. we get crazy enough to try sushi. No. I'm willing to risk the death. I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm going to risk it for you. Do me a favor. Starch! Sugar coated donuts, you mean? That's quite the thing in my town. But yeah. To be fair, don't you. Don't you live in an Asian, I can't remember, do you live in an Asian nation, Frosty, or was it European? I can't remember. Everyone in this damn Discord lives in all Different over the places. world. So we got Boo Boo in uh, East Asia, we've got... Uh, we just enjoy eating Asian dishes, so that's why we make a lot of Asian stuff. So I spent, I spent um, 18 months in South Korea. Maybe we should put a pause on the Asian dishes, and we'll do that the homemade bread and turn it into burgers. Actually. We'll make Italian! No, let's, let's go American. We'll make burgers. To be fair, our first video was American. Because what's more American than barbecued ribs? You could argue burgers, but let's be honest, I prefer ribs any day of the week. Ribs and pieces. <laughs> Said, I prefer ribs any day of the week. I know you do. Said, we got a really good deal today. Uh, we got ribs for, uh... Yeah, you. Yeah. We got two pack, big packs like this. So about 10, about 20 pounds of ribs uh, for buck ninety nine a pound. Which normally these things go for three to five bucks a pound. So we got a really good deal. 
And we ain't playing. Grand Zoss, one of my favorites. Three and a half mark? Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Wolf is in uh, Bangladesh. Ah, cool. Remember that much. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard to see this, especially with all the cornstarch on it. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how many <coughs> uh, Asian members we have in the Discord. And it's funny considering, I, as I said, I spent 18 months in South Korea. Ah, uh, I need more light. So this is the moment where you start to cheat. Three and a half. Yeah, y'all enjoying it so far? I said, sorry there's a lot of prep work, but y'all know how cooking goes. This is the big part of cooking, though. The prep work's the real, the main part of cooking. Yeah, Especially I mean... Especially with stuff like egg rolls. And hell, even my, even my crockpot stews I make, there's still a good amount of prep work because you gotta cut up the veggies, cut up the dishes, season the meat, season the vegetables, get... Get it all in them, and mix up your sauce blends. Plus, I said, because we don't have a lot of practice with this, this is a, we're not quite as quick with it as we could be. Yeah, we're still, we're still more or less learning how to do these things. We've had one attempt to practice these wrappers. As I said, we did get dough right. But then again, we had a little bit more experience because with the gyoza, it was still a dough. It's still yeah, to the there... same properties of a dough. We learned a little bit from last time. That was a lot of fun to make, though. So they, the they came out tasty. They didn't come out pretty, but they came out tasty. All right, here's four more for you. But hey, they aren't going to come out pretty either way. I mean, we're the ones making them, and neither of us are. I'm talking about when you're done eating them. <laughs> Doesn't matter how pretty they go in as long as they taste good going in. Yeah, we're not we're not running a restaurant. Alright, so that puts us up to uh ten. So we're up oh you missed the piece of dough. Yeah. So we're up to ten uh wrappers so far. I figured you need a drink. <clears throat> you figured correctly. <laughs> yeah, oh, you, wow, you, I'm dehydrated. Yeah, you get so into the prep work, you just forget until that sweet, sweet sustenance hits your lips. <sighs> Maybe I should have waited. Now I'm starting to feel tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've worked more hours this last week. Well, I've worked two weeks this last week, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, on the plus side, it'll go into funding a lot of cooking with core. Because let's be honest, we can't stop buying new cooking ingredients and shit. <clears throat> pasta maker, don't forget about that. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to buy a pasta maker because fuck hand rolling pasta. Hand rolling pasta is the devil. Hand rolling dough is, a mu is enough of a bit. Now the roll little individual noodles? Hell no. Nah. So we're just gonna make a, get a pasta maker for the. We're gonna order it once we're done here today. We should have it by next week when we make the lo mein. <laughs> if we don't, for whatever reason. I mean, hey, if we don't make lo mein, you we'll know. Make the fried rice. Well, no. If we say don't make an Asian dish next week, maybe we go Italian, make some pasta, maybe make a homemade Alfredo. Something like that. We, the world's our oyster with this bitch. Oh god, make a homemade tomato sauce. Tomato meat sauce from scratch. That'd be fun. Sid. I kinda like that idea. Sid, any, any suggestions, anything y'all wanna see cooked, let us know. We are glad to fulfill. Cause we love cooking. That we will eventually run out of ideas for recipes. <laughs> 
It's okay, that's what the internet is for. Pretty much. Said. So, oh. A lot of these recipes we have, we actually found online. I know they don't need it because they're a much bigger channel than me, but go check out Sorted Food. They are on YouTube. They have some really cool videos. They're always doing a lot of different cooking things on that channel. And they have some really cool stuff on there. Well, for us, this is just a side gimmick. We just decided, Corey just decided one day he wanted to do a cook show. Excellent. I've been wanting to do this for years. I just never had the equipment. And now we have a serious kitchen and... And I got a good quality webcam for doing this. And someone else who actually likes to cook. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not doing it all myself. I'd call it cooking with core and ice, but that just doesn't have the same ring to it. No, it doesn't. You could call it cooking with core featuring ice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that one has a, that one keeps the ring because the featuring kind of just breaks it up. Twitch be making my laptop like a portable space heater. Well, hey, good thing it's winter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need to go get a haircut. Coors Cookery featuring, featuring ice. Coors Iced Out Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that one isn't even bad. No, it's not. Just, bedazzle. Oh, God. We would not get our deposit back if we did that. If we did what? Bedazzled all the uh, cabinets to make no. them iced out. <laughs> no. <laughs> to be fair, Absolutely I I would not. hate I would hate walking into the kitchen every fucking day. I would probably consider sl slitting my throat, and if I fail a mo fail a morale check, I'm gone. <laughs> Cause I'll be honest with you, if I fucking was, if all these kitchen cabinets were covered in rhinestones and shit, I'm jumping out the window, or I'm slitting my throat with this big ass knife. I knew what I want. Ah. Oh, look, it's Amari. She ran for her life. Oh, I'm on the wrong, on the wrong side. <laughs> I know that run. Alright, so that puts us up to 12, right? Yeah, it puts us up to 12. He's win. Yeah, short, but nah. not enough for it to make a difference. See? Maybe about a quarter inch short. Alright, so we've got all of our wrappers done. Oh yeah, I can get one more from this, but that's not it. Yeah, but we can make one more. There's not a lot of point. Because that's going to fuck up my count. I like having an even number. Rah! Besides, that means each person gets three egg rolls. True. I'm just going to play with this dough then. Feed it the Mari. Ah. But yes, <laughs> she said rude. All right, all right, so it's time to swap out cutting boards again. To get started with the chicken again. Not chicken. Or the, what are we doing next, the um... Pork. Pork, oh that's right, we're getting the uh... We're getting the veggies and stuff for the meat mix. What? No, no one heard it. No, we couldn't even hear it. She was hoping to make our stream shitty. Yeah. It's okay, her personality alone does that. Hey all! Oh. You, come here. You're gonna come here first. It's only Sunday. Uh, uh. I'm not doing anything. Uh -huh. Come here. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy it's your last one! <laughs> I thought you were gonna like try to hug me or something, that's why I was like, uh-uh. No. <laughs> I'm covered in flat up. Oh, <laughs> alright, alright. So ice. Alright, I'm gonna Alright. So I'll get you your ingredients ready. But Ice is going to prepare the filling. Yay! You know what? I'm just going to open up the uh, gyoza because we're following the gyoza refs, uh, recipe for the, you know. 
So we're just going to grab the fork. Pull it out. And I'll pull this off for now, just so I can put it on the cutting board. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did the last time. <laughs> oh, I love you, Frosty. What did he say? He said, what's the best music to go with egg rolls or gyoza? Rap music. <sighs> Corn may love you, but I hate you. <laughs> so what we're going to do is the same thing we did last time. As I say, you got to slice those up first. So they... It'd probably be better to slice them up first, and uh, so it's got less the bland, less small work. Because we gotta put cabbage and. Uh, well, actually, the cabbage probably put the cabbage in first. Yeah, go with the cabbage first. Because honestly, uh, if that don't, if that only shreds up. Am I like cheese the ice? Because my gouda puns are starting to get grating. Oh, I just realized something. Oh, what? Well, my hands are coated in pork. You wanna rip me off some leaves? I was say. I was say it's wash. Well, Right. How, right. how many do you want? Just give me like. God, cabbage is weird. It feels like it should be more wet than it actually is. It looks more wet than it actually oh, is. Man, I was hoping it would be at the door, but it's not. Oh. Oh, One leaf. Rip that bitch to shit. Cabbage is such a weird plant. And very filling and zomboid. <laughs> and in real life. Yes. But I know I have to be careful when I get excessive with it. Alright. Hey. Why are you dropping my leaf? Because your crunch leaf is garbage. That one you almost dropped. I think that should be good. Mm. Rinse that leaf off and give it to me and I'll throw it in. Ah. Just rinse it all. Rinse that all. It's small, I just got it in my hand. There you go. Alright, so now we need... How many green onions did we use last time? Was it two? I don't know. Okay. Two... Yeah, yeah, it was two green onions. And it says add a one four teaspoon of sesame oil. You want to substitute that with peanut oil, maybe? Naturally. Oh, excuse me. The nice thing about sticking it in the food processor, there's no point in cutting it out first. <laughs> Open sesame oil, but it was closed. But don't. <sighs> He's contemplating suicide or homicide? The latter. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Ginger! Where is my ginger? Go. Oh, we're finally, we're finally cooking that jack test. <laughs> which one? You know which one. I don't remember which one. Minecraft. Oh! <laughs> you forgot about that one, huh? Yeah, it's more, I just, there's multiple gingers. You know, whenever I see you on Facebook, it still says moderator at the cooked pork chop. Hey, what does what does this gin, ginger and Matt the ginger have in common? What? They're both knobs. God. Yeah, so now we're going to take this, and we're going to have a great time. First ginger is delicious. Constantly reminded me I gained 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you follow the stream, you'll gain another 10. No, no, no. If you keep following this stream, just add a zero to that. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you live with these motherfuckers, you'll gain like 67 pounds. 67,000 pounds. 
Honestly, I think Mari looks forward to Sundays more so than me and Cor. <laughs> yeah, because she gets to eat all the food without putting in a single hand to help. Well, that's enough. Get over here. Get over here. We're gonna start. We'll start. We'll start conscripting her. <laughs> that just reminds me. There's a skit on a uh, Mortal Kombat Deadliest Alliance. In this crypt, you can unlock a uh, skit. Called cooking with scorpion, <laughs> and like he'll just fucking axe open the fuck, like axe open a watermelon, and it's hilarious. Mm. Ah, midway, they know how to have a laugh. Well, they did <laughs> before they fucking died. Well, snack all you want, just know unless you put in the effort, you will right. never have food as good as this. <laughs> I feel like that's more than enough ginger. That's plenty. Yeah, I'm running out of finger space. Yeah. All right. Now, garlic! Nice. While he's doing that, I'm gonna chop the pork a little. What'd you say? Did I drop any presents around here somewhere? Because I only have three bottles of pills and I can't afford I don't know where I put them. Yeah, just crack these with the knife. So is it just... Yeah, so you want to crack your garlic to get the shell off. Big shell? It's probably somewhere in that, that bird's nest of a room. We getting off big shell? Garlic, blah, 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 vampire sounds. Well, vampires aren't allowed to eat our food anyway. Mushrooms in there. No! Give it a guesstimation. Yeah, that also should help with the moisture problem we had last time getting yeah. it to go. Got a good frame. All right, pulse that bitch. Pulse. Uh, what the shit? Hmm? No, we're making it into a brown mixture. Why are you making it into a mixture? Huh? Why do that? Honestly, I think it looks great. Right, this is perfect. You yeah, ask me. Something that doesn't look perfect for a girl. Really. To be fair, I was following the instructions for the gyoza. I mean, if you look at this right here. I think it looks better for the egg roll filling. Fine. All nicely shredded up. Can you can, can they see what it looks like? What time is it here? It's 11:25. How's that look? 
finely shredded. Perfect for egg roll wrappers, my, egg roll in my opinion. Okay, so we've got the filling. It smells good, that's for sure. Okay, you want to start making filling? How do I go about that? I wasn't sure. Yeah, just spoon out into the wrappers. And uh, you gotta roll it. I don't know how to roll it, though. What do you mean, roll it? How to get them to roll up. That's going to be the difficult part. Or you just continue to use this cutting board. Okay. Uh, go this way. Are we, are we, done, are we done with the prep work? Yeah, we're finally done with the prep work. Yeah, everything, everything else will be cooking after we get these rolled up. So uh, let's set these out. I'm, you're not going to see it. I'm just putting some peanut oil in the wok. For the uh, chicken? Yeah, because the chicken's going to fry up. Uh, me a small pot to deep fry these. So I'm actually, the, what they used was a skillet. Really? Actually, what they used was a cast iron skillet. Oh yeah, we haven't used that one in a minute. We like our cast iron, okay? Uh, yeah. You can judge us if you like. We don't care about that opinion, though. Yeah. Pretty sure, yeah, they use cast iron in theirs. Okay. Actually, it's the same brand! <laughs> yeah, it's the same exact brand as ours. Lodge. Lodge makes good cast iron. Cast iron is the sort of shit that'll be good for decades. Shall I put some oil in this one, too? Yeah, oil it. How hot? Uh... They, fr they fried them properly some more. About that deep. So, next thing you just spoon. Eight minutes for the egg roll. Oh uh, man, we've been making too much Asian dishes. We're running low on peanut. We're about halfway gone on peanut oil. And we bought, and that's not the first big jug we bought either. No, it is the first big jug. Well, not the first jug we bought at least. Yeah, we we've gone through about three. Uh, so how two. How about rolling these? Yeah, and then we want to close up the ends. Then push the end. Yeah, make sure you get a good close seal. He's a tiny. <laughs> These came out close to the spring roll size. They really did. To, oh. to be fair, that's closer to uh to traditional egg roll size. Yeah. And we're learning. We're learning. They sent us the wrong house. Where what? did they send it? I don't know. It's 26 or 1 or something. Did you go over there and check? I didn't go upstairs because I was kind of afraid because I'm afraid that people are going to think that I'm like, trying to break it. Ego! Houses. It's got your name on it. It's got your name on it and it's got your, and it's got your address on it. Just go look. Okay. It's not like you live here. It's not suspicious, dum-dum. I know, but I just like... I'm Be gone! Like, before I flower you! So we're just wrapping these up, making egg rolls. They're not very pretty, we're not very pretty, they're not very pretty, but neither am I, so that's fine. <laughs> the guy could put the filling one for one and let me try. Which one? We can try. Okay, uh, go with this one. So yeah, go with this one out here. You want the big one? Yeah. That's a little much. Yeah, a little bit. You may take a little too much off. Oh, 
Oh, we're far from wrapping up, though. We still got all the cooking. Turning out more like spring rolls. That's okay though. God damn it! I go to make gyoza. I make dumplings. I go. We go to make egg rolls. We make spring rolls. Oh, don't even get started on those spring rolls. We haven't started those yet. <laughs> oh no, we did. Remember? <laughs> Just not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh we bought, yeah. We bought, the, we bought rice paper for that. Those were interesting. Should I show those images? Mm, no thanks. <laughs> that was not a cooking with core moment, that was a cooking with ice. Yeah, because I pretty much did all that I did all that while he was asleep. Minus the very end end portions. But even then you were still getting conscious by the time they were done. Yeah, because I got woke up like an hour and a half early. Still tasty. I think that was the first time I made the. No, that was the second time I think I made the teriyaki. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of leftover filling again. God damn it! You know, maybe we should have flattened the wraps out a little more. Maybe. Oh well. You live and you learn. That these definitely aren't going to be as pretty. But then again, yeah, these ones didn't come out nearly as big as the pictures, so. I don't know. Either way, this is going to be an interesting experience. We're learning. This is our first time actually taking these to completion. Do you guys like like our uh, first attempts at stuff, or do you like or do you like it better when we actually go in knowing what we're doing? What entertains you guys more? To be fair, we've been doing half and half. It has been both, but I'm curious on what their thoughts are. Like, should we really start focusing on the test test batches more, or should we just continue to freeform it and learn learn as we're going? He says either way we'll do. I said. We're not experienced with dough. We are experienced with cooking, but we're not experienced with baking shit. We're learning. We're going. It's, and it's nice to learn new, new recipes and how to do new things. I'm actually really enjoying this because it actually has given me a real incentive to try new recipes. Oh, yeah. And learn how to do new things. Okay, so Wolf 2 likes, likes it when we're okay. likes it, but he's good both as well. I found it, I guess he delivered it to the right, uh, so, you know, our address, but not the right apartment. Building, yeah. yeah. You're fine. Stop worrying. You yeah, got just it. Just saying. Sure. Alright, everyone, you're about to listen to a murder happen. I'm about to throw her out the window. Shit. Defenestration time! No. It's a defenestration demonstration. No! There's no need for that. Hopefully, we're followed by decapitation. Just like your mind. Did it come from your old house? Hey oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, it did. But yeah, uh, it says my name on it. It says the address is Shelby Good. And there's the rice cooker. And we haven't even started cooking anything else yet. <sighs> oh well, y'all should be good and prepped. Yeah, a freaking lady came out. Like, oh, good, good place. And I was like, I had to explain to her, I 
wasn't doing anything weird because she looked at me funny. Did she look at you funny or did you imagine she looked at you funny? I think, I think she did look at me funny. She I, was like, I just feel like, my name's on the package. Go fuck yourself. Wolf, Wolf says his dinner is in on Facebook now and in his belly. <laughs> All right, let's see what monstrosity he's made. Our lunch is right here in front of us. <laughs> what kind of food does he make? Or she, or whoever. I'm not sure if it's boy or girl. I'm not sure if it's food. Oh, it is the iPhone. If someone would have gotten this, it would have killed someone. More than likely yourself. Probably. And if not, or my mother would have killed me, she's on the it. So, that's all these rolled up. Okay, now it showed me monstrosity. All right, nice work. <laughs> he turned the chicken into the sandwich. Oh, shit. That looks really good, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so egg rolls done. Egg rolls are rolled. All right, so... Give me the webcam. Oh my god, I gotta tell him about this. This crazy ass story. I will be back in a minute. Gotta change. Yeah. I mean, no one else could be in there. It's the only three of us are in here. Oh. Okay. I, I was just saying. We are live, Ego. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, did you not know? We've been doing well, our cooking. I know, I know, I'm just saying, like, we're the only people here. No, I just probably shouldn't talk about the bathroom while we're cooking. <laughs> you weirdo. I haven't even blown my nose. Okay, so now we've got... I'm going to wash my hands again before I actually start cooking again. Okay, so now we've got this. So now we start heating up our oils. So about medium heat on both of them. No, I thought maybe I like, sent too much information or something like... For my chicken, we're going to... Um, Fried about seven minutes on each side. That's about what I found works out nicely for this. So these egg rolls will cook about for about one or two minutes each. Probably a little longer to get make sure the pork's done. It just says cook till they're golden brown. Yeah. Yeah. See, those were definitely bigger. Oh yeah, much bigger. Well, we've got this instead of the slotted spoon, which will do the trick just fine. That Did you push sense. my webcam back up? I mean, my... I have I that tilted up. I didn't touch it. Oh. So I had to tilt it up a little bit. Okay, so now we got both of our oils heating up. We're using peanut oil because, well, that's traditional. And it's our preference anyway. Do we double fry it? Uh, are you referring to where you fry the filling first before you put it in? Because, uh, they do do that. But no, we're not double frying. I don't think so, at least. Wow. I don't know what the... Okay, so those should be coming up on heat. Okay. Cast iron to heat up. Okay. 
Want to get a good thorough coating. Watch out, lace it off the smoke alarms. What? I'm sorry, I'm really very worried about that. I think that's a. Not that so. I'm talking about the smoke alarms. We know what you're talking yeah, about. We're just confused as to why we're going to set off the smoke alarms. Peanut oil has a high smoke. Sometimes, uh, because sometimes shit gets on the burner itself. Yeah. Oh. And that's what sets off the smoke. Ah, uh, you quick fry it. Yeah. Um, it did say to do that, but. We're just going to cook it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh, uh. What next? Last up, um, this one smell. I need these minced up. Minced? Yeah, just break them open, mince them up. Yeah, please. You throwing them in the chicken? Hmm. Throwing them in the chicken? Yeah, not right now, but yeah. They will. Let me grab a different knife. I'm sure they are. Why? That one has pork on it. <coughs> this one has chicken though. There's no other little knives. That was only steak knives. What pot? I don't know what pot there. Lift that up for me, please. Hmm? Lift that up for me, please. Actually, no, I got it. And now this is why I lose my jacket. Because this is going to get toasty. Yeah, I did not have that oil high enough yet. Oh well. Which is why we're waiting a little longer for the angle. Centered. So, what do y'all want to talk about right now while we wait? Whatever is under the sun. Oh, you made sesame chicken, Doc? Nice. Let's go over there for now. Maybe we'll do the sesame chicken when we do the fried rice. You had a crazy fun day, huh? What'd you do? starting to get up the temperature now. It's starting to bubble. So once that starts frying, I'll put a timer on for about seven minutes. Oh, you bought a whole batch of chicken for some lunch dishes, huh? Bless you. should let reds know that we're now frying the chicken. I already have my phone.
garlic, honey chicken, ginger, soy chicken, night, Italian chicken. Chicken is just so fucking versatile. Ugh. Well, it looks like he's back at it again. Oh, my back. starting to fry up now. Either that or explode. Either oh no wait, that's the Samsung note. <laughs> that was the what was it, the seven that did that? Yeah, the note that was not allowed on uh aircraft because the batteries have exploded. I forgot about that. Yeah, I think it happened like when you would use it while it's charging. I don't know. No, to be fair, if I remember correctly, there was also an iPad that had that problem too. Yeah, but I don't think it was too such an extreme degree. I pad, I paid, I boom! There we go, now the oil's bubbling. Which if that's boiling, guess what else is going to be boiling? Hey, that one should be ready to go. Yep. Alrighty. Let's get her started. Ow, what is it? Toe. Hi, Mr. G. As I say, Mr. G uh, also lives somewhere in Asia. It's now frying. Hey, Mr. G. We're making some chicken today. And he's got some pork egg rolls going. Yeah, should be able to fit one more in. It says not to overcrowd them, so. Yeah. Frosty you likes mean like these. Frosty likes to watch and make puns. So like these. As I was saying, steel chopsticks are actually a Korea thing. Koreans uh, use steel, while other typical other Asian nations typically use a wood or a porcelain. <laughs> That's why I learned how to use chopsticks was in Korea. Oil fry. I'm gonna need your help with the chicken. Mostly because once it's done frying, it needs to lose almost all the oil. Yeah, so yeah, of course. 
Come on, we, we both know I was invited because it's pain in the ass to cook completely by yourself. Right, and you have nothing better to do on the weekends. Most of the time. Yeah, right now I gotta go to work in... Hmm, about three hours. I gotta be at work. Because, fuck my life, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of... We're about to hit two hours. Two hours of straight cooking time. Where's my pot other? And Molly's gonna get none of it! None of it! What? Charge it! I am charging it. Charge! Well, actually, Before I charge you. Just let it charge for a little while while you, while you wait. wait. Uh-oh. What? What? The big one. Oh, well. It's breaking open! Oh, well. And it should fry in a solid state. So, once it gets fried enough, it'll just stay together. Keep together! Keep together! Don't fry on me! <laughs> I don't know this police officer. I don't know this man. I don't know why this man was found dead after doing a cooking stream. The fact that I did a cooking stream with him is irrelevant. He kidnapped me off the street. <laughs> he just pulled me in. He just like, hey bitch, you're coming to cook! Oh, nice. Nice! Oh, uh, God, that's God. one thing we're going to have to do one day. But that's going to be an all-day process. Yeah. That's... Maybe we'll do that when I finally quit this fucking job after I've made it where I can do this self-supporting. Oh, yeah. Fun fact, I remembered I have a Patreon today. I forgot about it, but it is linked down below. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I have one, but I have a Patreon down below. Hey, I should add a Cooking with Core benefit where you suggest you all get to vote and suggest in dishes. I'm not bad, yeah. You vote with your cash. Money votes? Core's Red Room, abducting people off the street to come and cook with him, with ice blocking the door with a shotgun. Congratulations, you're now in Core's cooking no, class. He didn't, he didn't say door, he said dude. So I'm blocking the dude with a shotgun. Oh no, the Revenant, it got out! <laughs> Dudes intensify. <laughs> no, no, at least be honest. I'm an ass, not an R. I'm a real American. While she wishes he would eat ass. Hey yo! He's just like, I'm definitely killing this man. <laughs> oh god. A dupe bag. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there we go. Now some of that chicken's starting to get golden on one side. I mean, either way. Mm. There's so many knives in my forks. God. Ugh. What? I got a, what was it, Dennis Leary, I'm an asshole stuck in my head now. I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole! <laughs> For anyone who wants, to, uh, who wants a good laugh, I'm an asshole by, was it asshole, or was it just called asshole by Dennis Leary? It'll search under either or. Yeah, the way you'll find it. It's a funny song. I'm an asshole, an asshole, an asshole! I'm with a regular job. You know what? Fuck it. I don't think it's gonna show up on copyright anyways. It probably will. 
not that old of a song. Yeah, but it's also, a lot of times the copyright doesn't catch stand-up comedy. I mean, that's on you. I'm a, I'm a check. Oh yeah, these are looking good now. No, no, okay, that one is uploaded, gone. Well then, just go look it up. A S S H O L E. Oh yeah, a lot of these fell apart. and opened up. Oh well. But well, another way they need to be rotated so that they get cooked a little more evenly. These days we'll probably get around to uh, cooking at the right proportions. Yeah, Dennis Leary. Just a little bit longer and then our first batch will be done. <laughs> this is a miracle hand. Merka! Merka! The, the proportions are round. <laughs> While I'm wearing a British band shirt. <laughs> You'll take my love, but I'll take yours too. You buy a musket, but I'll run you through. <laughs> now just gotta let those fry. I hate to say it, but we need an even bigger walk. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but you're probably right. How many viewers we got? Five. They're not doing too bad. No. This has been a very popular segment. People like cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, food food is something everybody enjoys. Yeah. And everyone gotta eat. I don't know. People run the vomit comment don't enjoy food. <laughs> I mean, they they specialize as professional skeletons. That was dark. Yeah. Oh well, that's only probably the second darkest thing about that topic we've had. The first one, I almost killed both of these people over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change the topic before it gets, uh... Ugh. <laughs> Skeletons will have a skeleton of bone puns. Those are looking good, though. Yeah, they are, actually. They look really good. Still teaching myself the baby cuss for our podcast. I've got cluster fudge and epping so far. Save your bone puns for when we try to make a stock from chicken bones and shit. Oh god, that'll be a long stream. You're not a legit cook until you nearly burn the house down. Does that make Riku more of a cook than us? I mean, he does it. He does it all the time. <laughs> oh, I'd be lying if I said I haven't. If I haven't done that as a kid. Oh, speaking of. Speaking of, goes for the eggs. You put these back up. Yeet. My balls. They got 
got a lot of butter. That requires energy. <laughs> and besides, they wouldn't like me just because I just because of uh, my affiliation over here. Well, yeah, that's why he's saying going into the bully. <laughs> yeah, I don't get why they're so sad. It's like, but hey, everyone's gotta have their sad little hobbies. What? Oh, burnt the house down? Oh, yeah. Well, steak can be really greasy at times. If that grease bubbles up enough and ignites. I, I, I know I've had a grease fire happen to me before. Scary moment. Thankfully, it was very small. The only grease fire I had was where some of it dripped onto the burner. And, uh, what's it called? Really caught the area under the burner on fire because of the built up charcoal shit. Yeah. And that's why I make, I make sure to clean this stove like at least once a week. Or I make the, I make the wait staff around here help. Oh yeah, these are done. Tell me that's not pretty. It certainly looks nice. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, How can we have a light? I always forget about a light. How do these look, guys? What sad comments? Questions, comments, concerns, nine remarks, death threat? I would love a death threat. Be the first time for anything, everything, right? Not from you, you don't know. Oh, I'm right, fine, then you sh should have just been around there and I. You decided to grab a boiling hot egg roll. I did not grab the egg roll. I accidentally bumped my pinky against the, um, against the spoon. That I just used to pull egg rolls out of hot oil. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't enough for me to actually burn myself. Yeah, that's sticking. And this is the last egg roll. Hmm. Not brown as much as I'd want, but. Oh, first time you almost started on fire? Oh, that's, oof, toasting some buns. Yeah, that, I'm not even going to lie to you, that is kind of embarrassing. My little brother once started a paper plate on fire. Is that embarrassing enough? That's depressing and hilarious. I'll call it nefarious. To be fair, he was pretty young. What's up, Val? Hot Took rain. your sweet time. You missed all the fun stuff. It's time to kill our Valentine. You only get to see the final stages and everything. It's okay. He's going to watch the entire stream after it's done and uploaded, right? If he doesn't, we will start. Pinch. Should have done what I did last time instead. Why well, split? One open, that one open. I should have done what I did last time and split it amongst two. Uh, two things. Yeah. Oh well. Nothing for it. Nothing for it. Ah uh, no no. Oh yeah, it's Val's birthday. Happy birthday, Val. Oh, happy birthday, Val. Come over and you can have an egg roll. Just one. Just one. Happy birthday. Uh, 
Well, I might as well. I want to check my analytics Good. while we got a little time. Not doing too bad. Wow. Three and one seventy two subs. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice. I'll cut by the truck. Good. Chicken's starting to fry up nicely. I should have done what I did last time, though. Yeah. The chicken's probably fully cooked, but it's not fully fried. Yeah. I should have done what I did last time. Uh, well, I put it in two different uh, bowls. I mean, two different skillets. Oh, these are fried much quicker now. Yeah, probably because it's up to heat and there's less in it. doing Texas speech on his streams before. That was a mistake. <laughs> Luckily he doesn't get free bits anymore. <laughs> yeah, Cope and I kind of decided to do the entire well, we started with the Bill of Rights, and then the Declaration of Independence, then we went for the whole Constitution. <laughs> and it, at least mine was a higher quality. I wouldn't mind if the text is speech, but he uses a cheap, low quality, old text of speech from like the fucking 2000s. Oh. Ugh. God, fucking hell, this hurt, this literally hurts my ears. Like, I don't mind text to speech, but, but at least use one of the ones the Redditors use. Oh, it's starting to golden up. I don't think this is going to fully fry, mostly because it's too big. And more oil. No, because it's going to get dried out. Oh, true. But hey, the sauce will cover that little fat. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's why you should lose your heart and just be an ass. But hey, either way, the chicken's gonna be good to go. Oh, that did burn a little. What? When I touched that. Now you're not now you're not a cook. You can't say you haven't burnt yourself at least once. Or cut yourself. Or cut yourself. Or or you do it repeatedly. Be, be realistic. Got to learn somewhere. Okay. Okay. okay uh, plate. We need a clay plate. Yeah, you ain't cooking if you ain't uh. You ain't cooking if you ain't cut if you ain't hurting yourself. I'm pretty good about it. I only occasionally burn myself. I'm just gonna grab the pieces out. <laughs> Ouch, Doc. Ouch. Ooh. What? Why would you do that? He burned his ass against a 600 degree stove working at a pizza joint. That's what he gets for being a piece of shit. Oh. Bet you didn't make any contact after that. <laughs> it's 
So I guess he toasted his bottles. <laughs> Yeah, the rest of these are Oh yeah, this this oven's gonna need to be cleaned off before we use it again. Yeah. Make sure you tell Riku that. The last of the egg rolls finishing up right now. Okay. Okay, so it's not gonna fully fry anyway. Some of the coatings came off. Stuck to the bottom. Put that one to the shelf. Try to turn off the heat. You alright? Yeah. Splash some oil. Yeah, the uh, thing got some of the oil breading caught. Some of the breading got caught on the thing. Oh. Uh. And so. It slid up under the thing with more force. Why are you leaving? Who's leaving? Oh wait, no, Val's just said you can call it a hot ass. Is that he will leave now? Never mind. I, I realized that just a second too after I said that. That page one. And this is the final egg roll. They're not all very pretty, but a few of them actually look pretty good, like this one right here looks really good. Uh, fork. Get some more of the oil out. Leave just a very little bit. Just dump it? Yeah, leave just a thin layer on the bottom. Oh, these idiots are tagging. It did what I didn't want it to do. Ah. What? Give me a nice thick pad of paper towels. Um, they're over there. Well, I can't put this down. Why do you need it? Because I gotta wipe the oil off the side of this thing. It did what I exactly didn't want it to do. Oh. So now, it's time to add the garlic, time to add the chili flakes, and time to add the ginger. Oh god, I'm going to be more careful with that. Is that good enough or a little less? A little less. Perfect? Where the fuck's the lid? Okay. That's fine. Where the fuck's the thing? Uh, what? You mean someone didn't put it back? Who took it off? I did when I... I did when I, uh... Took off my shaker bit? Yeah, I took off the shaker bit because I needed to measure. I thought I put it back on, to be honest. Oh, did you use it today? No, it wasn't today. It was when I made the teriyaki. Oh. I also got another one of our Okay, so 
either way. Alright, so now we got oil. We got. Huh? They're probably no touch. Huh? Probably no touch. And we'll burn this house down. I'm not worried about fire, I'm worried about exploding plate. <laughs> Last thing I want is shrapnel. Okay, there's my, there's my garlic. So now we throw the garlic again, and you basically let it cook until you smell garlic. So about 30 seconds, at most. Um, and now we sizzle up that garlic. Once you get that garlic smell going, That I'm gonna get off my feet for a minute. Oh yeah, now we're getting a garlicky smell. Oh yeah, I can smell that. Oh. Now then, we're going to add some ginger and some uh, chili flakes. We've got a big old thing of chili flakes here. Chili flakes. Careful with the ginger. And now then, add the chicken back in. Once you get that chicken back in, now it's time for the sauce. Now I'll probably de-mix de a little bit, so I'll just whisk it again, and just time to add it. So, this will thicken out nice and thick. Now just toss everything nicely into the sauce. Just get a good, nice, thorough coating. And let it reheat a little bit. But once it gets reheated, it'll coagulate nicely. And it'll make a delicious... All right, Frosty, you have a good one. It's starting to thicken up and stick to the chicken. There we go. Now I'm probably just going to dump it back into the Asian bowl. But that's just because, well. Well, that and the chicken was, uh, it was just used for sauce. The sauce that just got dumped all on said chicken. toss these but because the uh, wok I don't have a big enough lid for it. Yeah you can see the sauce is starting to really thicken now. See how it's starting to cling to the chicken? That's what you're looking for. Whoopsie! Little 
saws came out. Little fire hazard never killed anyone. Now a whole lot of fire hazard, then you got a problem. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Setting up the presentation. Good amount of rice. Uh, I need a spoon. Look at all those thickens. God, my roommate Martin used to say that all the time because he knew I liked birds. He would just say, Look at all those thickens. He was a big, well actually he was kind of a moderately sized buff black dude. And he was fun. I liked him. I miss him. He ate well in Korea. <laughs> I made sure that we ate well. He brought the southern dishes like all the shrimp and all that. Well I just brought all the stuff I make. Which is a, which is a general clusterfuck. The rice is nice and sticky. Trudolf. Yeah. So I, I should have about enough for a presentation soon. Two more pieces should be good for the presentation. And then... This is a good angle. No. Gotta choose the best egg rolls for the presentation. Two egg rolls up front. Alright. What do you think? Looks good. Uh, so. Can we have you? For the presentation dish. We will naturally take another, a photo of it. It had better take a photo of it. And that'll be used as the, uh... There we go. So, 
take a photo, and that'll be used as a thumbnail for the for the video. But yeah, so now while he takes the photo, y'all got any questions, any comments, any concerns? Snap remarks, death threats. If you're gonna give us a death threat, at least make it interesting. <laughs> And he says, nope, enjoy your meals. While Frosty's gone, but how about you, Wolf, Doc? Y'all got anything to add? Send that to the disc. There's said, Uh, what do you think? How's it look to y'all? This one. Oh, we got a little blackened. Going in the general media. Good and crunch. Just bon appetit. All right. All right, then. So I think we're done here, then. Hope y'all had a good time. We'll see y'all next time. I'll see y'all tomorrow. You'll probably see Ice next Saturday. All right, for Mars. Yeah, so y'all have a good, good one. Good one.